For many students this year, adjusting to online learning has been tough. University of Pennsylvania has not been excused from this narrative. UPenn Design School student and student council member Laura Elliott saw firsthand the impact that this was having on her fellow classmates. In a standard year, quite often our school would have um, like therapy dogs come to campus. And so we were thinking, you know, what's kind of similar to therapy dogs, but a bit more fun and virtual. And so that's where the idea of either a zoo or an aquarium came up. With pressure of upcoming exams, Virtual zoo visits during study breaks is a fun and creative way to get minds off of both heavy workloads and a global pandemic. Luckily for Laura and her fellow student council members, UPenn's veterinary school and the Bronx Zoo were up for a collaboration. We came across the Bronx Zoo because they were already they already had this set up for the virtual encounters. Uh, and so it was really easy. They were really easy to coordinate with these groups. These wild Wednesdays are happening during lunchtime, so they don't conflict with class time schedules and are occurring every Wednesday throughout the month of April. The event doesn't just include animals, though. There are also trivia questions, riddles, and other fun activities throughout to get student engagement. From a warthog named Peaches to a fennec fox and later a visit with a giraffe, camel, and a few other surprise animals, the Bronx Zoo has a lot in store for Laura and students at UPenn. Zookeepers are also engaging students in answering any questions they may have. During the visit, there's actually multiple zookeepers present, so they're able to comment um, on, on the specific animal as well as how they behave in the wild. And then uh, through the chat, they have someone answering all of the questions or being able to read off questions to the zookeeper, which has been really great. And if animals weren't already exciting enough, prizes can also be won during these events. Board games such as Cards Against Humanity, Bananagrams, and Sushi Go have been given out. Preemptively, you know, knowing that we might end up hanging out with people again soon once we're all vaccinated, um, you know, having sort of a fun pastime. Um, so I thought those would be fun uh, prizes that we've been given out. Unfortunately, not zoo related, but still were um, <laughs> fun for the students, I think. So what is in store for Laura and her classmates at UPenn once Wild Wednesdays are over? perhaps a trip to the Bronx Zoo? Yeah, definitely. I think the great part too is that, you know, students know it's with the Bronx Zoo, like we're pretty clear. So hopefully once um, they're able to, uh, once we're vaccinated or feel comfortable, we can head on over to the Bronx Zoo. It's not far, you know, it's gonna be a day trip for us because we're here in Philadelphia. So I think it's also great to just get students aware of what's, what's within a, a day trip of us. If you would like to learn more about Wild Wednesdays, visit Weitzman S-T-U-C-O on Instagram or email Weitzman-S-T-U-C-O at design.upen.edu. Reporting for BronxNet, Alexis Penn.